Uh, my name is Nikolai Slav. I'm currently a junior assistant professor at uh, Northeastern University in the bioengineering department. I discovered uh, heterogeneity in the composition of the ribosomes, which is uh, the main topic that I'm pursuing now in, in my laboratory. So was this your first preprint or was this a subsequent preprint that you had posted? It was my very first one. Oh, wow. and I certainly did have some concerns about making my work publicly available, but on the other hand, the benefit of uh, receiving instantaneous feedback and being able to share my work seemed to outweigh the cost of submitting it. And my primary concern was that the only people who see it might be my two competitors. Uh, but looking at the visibility that some other preprints had attracted, I decided that this shouldn't be the case. And in fact, I was very, very uh, happy to see that uh, within weeks of uh, uploading my preprint, it was downloaded uh, hundreds of times, I can only assume, right? And I, I was particularly pleased to have comments uh, by some of the most senior members of the field, such as Jane Kay and John Warner, and they were very thoughtful and constructive comments. Um, I even received an offer for a tenure track position uh, from somebody who saw my preprint before the preprint was peer reviewed formally uh, in anonymous fashion by a journal and published there. Uh, so this experience and the experience I've had with a few other preprints subsequently has convinced me that the bioarchive is a very visible place where you could share your work and share it in a way that can make scooping impossible because if the eyes of the leaders of the field are on your work, uh, then it is highly unlikely that these people would want to tarnish their reputation by publicly taking something that has already been published with a timestamp and trying to push this under their name. It just cannot happen.